We're coming to you from Tucson Lazy Days KOA Resort in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, we've come here for the next few days and this is something really different for us. It's our first time we've ever really done a luxury RV park. Right. Some people call it camping or glamping. Whatever term you use, this park is definitely camping, glamping at its finest. This is our campsite here at Lazy Days KOA. It looks just like any other campsite at a KOA. But let Randy turn the camera around and you'll see what else our site includes. Over here we have our own Disney boat with a table and chairs. At the other corner of our site, and let me mention we are on a corner site, we do have two more Adirondack chairs and we also have this very nice Fireplace. Behind us is one of the two swimming pools at this KOA. We haven't gone swimming yet, but they do seem to be quite used. Of course, you've got a laundry room, and a fitness area here. If you stayed at any other KOAs or probably most other campgrounds throughout the United States, they do offer camping cabins. And at this KOA, these are their camping cabins. They look a little different. For me, they kind of look like tiny homes. We haven't been inside, but I'm sure they're very nice. This campground has many amenities, and one of them is that some of the sites have their own little dog park, such as this site here. They're not huge, but they're nice. Zephyr got their bath today. Monty's gonna get a bath. His first bath that wow that we've given him. Normally they go to the groomers. Monty's turn is the dog bath. So he's definitely not gonna walk up the ramp. <laughs> We're rolling in. Their head is wet. 
so they won't shake as long as you wet their head, so you want to do your, their head last. visiting the Pima Air and Space Museum. While you're in Tucson, this is a great place to come and visit for a couple hours. It's close to the center of the city, right off of the Douglas uh, Air Force Base, and definitely want to stop here if you can. Did you enjoy your tour around the Pima Airplane Museum? Yes, very much. It was great. I, I love seeing these old um, military type aircraft. They have a mo of all different sizes, capabilities from different branches of the military, mostly Air Force, and it goes into some history of the um, space missions, the Apollo, the first mission, Mercury, Gemini. And they have uh, a couple of Air Force Ones here. Yep, and a couple B-52 bombers, which are immense in size. Yeah, yeah. Very, very impressive. Yeah, and they have a, a area of NASA planes, including one of the uh, Super Guppies, which NASA used to haul um, different type of equipment across the country. All kinds of different things, and it, it's, it seems to be mostly World War II and newer, but it goes right up into fairly recent. This is adjacent to the Douglas Air Force Base here in Tucson, and this is where 
the Air Force stores planes that aren't being used anymore. A lot of them are brought here and scavenged for parts to keep other planes flying. And so the Airplane Museum actually takes advantage of that and brings in some of the planes that belong to the Air Force into the museum for static displays. Well, this is where we're going to end this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We will see you guys down the road.